This bread no be a Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do all to subscribe before you leave. Join our family. My name is Rachel and I'm a student of the University of Calabar. Living in Calabar, obviously. So yeah, let's just dive right into the video. No time for long talk and that's on it period. That's on it period. <laughs> So in today's video, I'll be doing five advice for freshers coming into the University of Calabar. So school is resuming, I think, for freshers on the third since. So I was like, why not, you know, film a video telling them what they should do and what they should not do. I'm not like very perfect, but at least I've spent like two years in Unical. So yeah, I think i think i can i can do the job I, I can do the job i don't know how i am sounding now but i'm filming this video at about 11 p.m i just woke up here so please pardon me if i am sounding off my normal way so yeah let's just get right into the video avoid like, unnecessary spending like you are a fresher yes we know you have so much money yes i know Anything you tell your mommy, she will give you. Yes, I still know. But, I repeat, but, do not come to Unical and spend your money foolishly. Please, ask questions. Ask questions before you spend. Ask questions before you pay. Do not be so quick. Don't be first, 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 first. It's not secondary school. They are not going to flog you if you don't do it first person yeah i'm not advising you to be like late for payments and stuff like that so that they won't add like extra money on top because you know unical likes money <laughs> ask that anyway unical likes money so if you have extremely late they would add money to the thing you want to pay for and that's on a period <laughs> try and cook your meal do not spend don't do today you go to this restaurant oh baby girl for life buy food buy food buy food buy food try and cook me i was not staying in the hostel but i am telling you that you should try to cook because even me that is not staying in the hostel when i resumed i was into that attitude of buying meals instead of eating what was made at home and i knew Abi, I know what I spent. Like you come here, a meal that you are meant to maybe prepare with that about let's say 800 and eat it for like twice or three times. Yeah, you are a student. You would go to that restaurant or the whatever fast food or restaurant and you would spend that money at a sitting. In your mind, you are doing big girl levels. Guy, all of us, we have been there. We have been there. Oh, don't let anybody deceive you. We have all been there. That's why I'm here. Mommy Rachel is here to tell you the gist. <laughs> Super purposes. Trust me, you're gonna need it. <laughs> because once supper strikes, <laughs> once supper strikes you. <laughs> See, the truth is our parents they try. You are going to be calling your mom here on a steady registration. And another thing is that do not be in a hurry, guy. Don't be in a hurry. Tip number two, don't be in a hurry. You know what? Let's just do this video like as it flows. Yeah, since I've not seen my notes, I will just be like dropping the points. And as I'm dropping it here, yeah, when I'm editing, I would like title it and stuff like that, probably. But I know that's extra work for myself, but that's all I can do. I'll be giving five points actually. So, yeah, this tip number tip number three. Yeah? The first one was avoid unnecessary spending in the sense of all these um, pay this, pay this, pay that, pay this, pay this, pay that. In school, calm down, guy. Don't be in a rush they are not doing competition here who is the first to pay if you pay first it means you have money first <laughs> i was there see oh your pocket is filled we know <laughs> baby i <laughs> i don't know what my scarf is looking like guy like <laughs> this video is just making me laugh we know you have money yeah because obviously you're a fresher you should have money but don't come and show it to us like try it's not even for us safe because I'm just telling you as an advice, try and prepare your meals at home. If you feel like having sparks, you prepare it. If you eat it in the morning, at least you can eat it in the afternoon. That's something. Don't go to the restaurant and be like, ah, oh, ma, give me spaghetti, egg, beef. Mm, mm, mm. 
your money will finish you see that money is gonna finish and trust me when it finishes your eye is gonna open <laughs> academics like guy you came here for your purpose that's for school for school purposes do not forget what brought you to the university you have been at home for a year some people for two years for some people for three years if you are not a Nigerian here, this is how we do our admission process. After your 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 your, your secondary school, I think it should be called high school abroad, you have to take what is known as JAM. JAM is an examination board that determines how your tomorrow may be. <laughs> JAM is like an examination board. You take the exams and if you get a certain cut off mark, you come to the school and take the school's pursuit CME or screening or whatever they do, then they would add and divide and subtract and whatsoever. But I think it's add and divide, subtract and foolish. Then it will determine if you will get that medicine and surgery you think is your dream or you are dreaming to study. So yeah, that's it. Some people are unfortunate, they stay at home for a year. Some people, two years. Some people, three years. Some people at will, they be like, oh, I'm out of secondary school, let me hustle, you get. Some people not their choice. But any pressure, that one aside, you are into the university now. After how many years, some people were lucky enough, they came out from secondary school and boom, you are into university. <laughs> baby you have to shine your eyes like you are here for studying purposes don't come and be like feeling yourself you now join a crew and you now forget what brought you to school you are going to fail that is the truth you are going to fail university is not a place where maybe your wicked teacher let let me use for example mr z for instance mr z was a very wicked teacher for you in your secondary school but innocently all he wanted was the best for you for you to study and come out with good grades in your secondary school so he had the opportunity there to be chasing you around oh favor read your book read your book mm, read your book in university no one is gonna chase you baby the person that is gonna chase you is your mother if you have to motivate yourself do you understand I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say, but yeah, you came to school for your purpose 